one uh, part of the FIO conference this fall that I'm personally very excited about is um, a special symposium on face space optics and um, one of the um, exciting things happening in this exciting symposium is that Martin Bastians um, will give a tutorial on the Wigner distribution function. I'm very excited that this symposium takes place because face-based optics has become a tool that is not just a playground for a few uh, colleagues, but it's penetrating the core of information sciences and optics. Um, for instance, uh, the computational photography community, they use face-based tools on a daily basis now. And um, there is also a nice complementary approach here that we have the topical meetings with the applied uh, presentations, uh, the, the, the applied research. And on the other hand, we have the symposium that sort of brings everything together. It's this idea that, um, well, it, it has a, um, a very long history in geometrical optics um, where um, optical rays um, are represented by so, so-called generalized coordinates. So each ray has a location and a direction. And um, both parameters are treated as um, equal coordinates in an artificial space. And this space is called phase space. And um, so in geometrical optics, this is part of the, um, of the theoretical framework. And it has been all along since um, the times of, um, well, Hamilton and Martin Bastians um, is um, one of the fathers of um, face space optics. Um, I mean, he introduced um, face space concepts um, into wave optics. Um, at, in the late 70s and early 80s, almost single-handedly. And um, I'm, I'm very happy that I, I could win him to um, give this, this tutorial.